Gary is here with us. We gain, gain an hour of sleep. We gain an hour of sleep, we lose an hour of sunlight. People always wonder, why do we switch the clocks? Can we just keep the same time all year round? Well, <laughs> Beyond the Barometer, we'll see if we can tackle some of that. So let's take a look at this week's Beyond the Barometer. So first thing we need to do is take a look at why we have daylight saving time in the, in the, in the first place. So if you take a look at sunrise sunset times, um, here is Madison, for example. Um, on the first day of winter, which is usually about our shortest day of the year, our sunrise is at 725 and our sunset is at 425. Okay, So that's standard time. Now, if we were on daylight saving time all year round, that sunrise would be at 8.25 in the morning. Four. And your kids would be going to school, you know, at when it's dark out. Whereas on the first day of summer, this is, again, this is standard time, so our sunset would be at 7.40. Of course, we're on daylight saving time, so you add an hour to that. So we, basically what we're doing is we're taking an hour from the sunrise in the morning, which is at 4.18 when most people are asleep, and transferring that, that hour of sunlight into the afternoon or evening when people are still awake. So 7.40 to 8.40 would be our sunrise. Now, if you go south, and, and basically the two things that really affect the sunrise and sunset times are your latitude, how far north and south you are, and then how far east or west you are in the time zone. So New Orleans is about the same uh, longitude as we are, north and south, but they're farther south in, in latitude. So notice they don't have as much of a difference between the first day of winter and the first day of summer. Again, this is daylight, you know, th these are standard times, so you add an hour to the, uh, the June uh, first day of summer times, and, you know, but even during the winter, if you added an hour to that, sunrise would be at 7.51. I mean, not great, but you'd have an extra hour of sunrise, uh, sunset before sunset in the, the evening. So it makes more sense the farther south you go. The farther west you go, it's a different story. Here's Pierce, South Dakota. They're still in the central time zone. Notice in, in the winter, their sunrise is at 8.14. You add an hour to that if you had all your daylight saving time and you, your sunrise would be at 9.14 in the morning. In the summer, your sunset standard time is 8.29, so when you add an hour for daylight saving time, you're at 9.29, so that's when your sunset would be. And then finally, you take a look, you go north to Duluth, and you can see the, the effects there. Again, you add an hour to that for winter, and you'd be talking about sunrise times almost at nine o'clock in the morning, whereas in the summertime, adding an hour, yeah, 9.06, I mean, that's a little longer here, but you, you don't get, get as much benefit there. So, if you take a look at our time zones, this is roughly where our time zones are right now, and you take a look at what we could do. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna have daylight saving time the farther south you go and the farther east you go in a time zone. So, if we change the time zones, we skewed them like this so that the central time zone would basically be from Duluth down to like Laredo, Texas, and the eastern time zone would, would start like around, uh, say, Buffalo, New York, down to around Tallahassee, Florida. Then, basically what you end up is this. Anywhere it says yes, you would keep daylight saving time all year round. Anywhere where it says no, you would stay on standard time to get those time zones to skew up like that. But, you know, I mean, the, that way you, you have the best bang for your buck as far as, you know, staying late in the summer but not having it too dark in the winter. At this point, all of these areas would have sunset or sunrise on the first day of winter somewhere around 8.30 at the, at the very latest. So that's, you know, that's the ultimate solution if we did it. But again, you know, that represents problems. We'd have the same time as Detroit, Michigan, and Cleveland, Ohio, but Minneapolis might be an hour less than us, you know, all year round. Yeah. So. We gotta get you testifying on <laughs> Capitol Hill. That's, you know, that's the, you know, when, when people say, because again, if you go daylight saving time all year round for everybody, it makes no sense in the northern part of the country, it makes perfect sense in the southern part of the country. Mm -hmm. So it's not one size fits all, but you have to find a way. You to need a bipartisan agreement and that ain't happening. <laughs> that's not happening, you're right. Gary, thank you. Very you're welcome. Enjoy an hour of sleep.